This fly is a cross between a Metuka fly and a Zonker. Any streamer hook with a 2x long shank hook will work, like this size 12 Umqua U103. We will start with a fine thread near the head of the fly. I am using 70 denier olive ultra thread. Bring your thread all the way back to the bend of the hook with smooth wraps. Now tie in some small size wire and use a color that matches your fly. Now we are going to cut a zonker strip about the length of the hook shank and strip off some of the hairs towards the back of the cut section. Keep those hairs and dub them in tightly. Wrap your dubbing in a taper about halfway up the hook shank. Then wrap your wire around the dubbing in a spiral and capture it right past the dubbing ball. Then you can simply helicopter the excess wire off. Now, lay your zonker strip on top of the hook shank and tie it in right where you stripped off the hairs. In a way, so the zonker is sticking out the back of the hook about a half a hook shank length. Once you tie in the mink strip tightly, bring your thread up past the end of the zonker strip, then make a dubbing loop. Tie back the dubbing loop so it starts right where you will cover the zonker strip tie-in point, and bring the thread back to the eye of the hook. Then attach a dubbing twister to your loop and slide a zonker strip up the loop so the loop is laying right up against the skin. Then make a few twists to lock that strip in place. Now we are going to cut off the skin from the strip so we are left with only the hairs. Then we are going to twist our dubbing loop twister to form a dubbing brush. I like to switch to a set of dubbing pliers or hackle pliers. Then we will wrap the dubbing brush on tightly while pulling back the hairs gently with each turn. Try to come about an eye length short of the hook eye with the brush and then capture the thread and trim off the excess. Now stroke back the fibers in order to make them all angle backwards. While pulling back the fibers, create a small head on the fly with your thread. Whip finish your fly and trim off the thread close. Continue to pull the fibers back if any are sticking forward. A toothbrush would be good to use here also. With your bodkin, add a bit of head cement on the head of the fly to keep your whip finish in place. And there we have it, a super small and lightweight streamer pattern. As you can see, it swims really nice, and stays rather lightweight to cast due to not using too much zonker strip skin. Hey, thanks for watching! If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe! Check out my website at mcflyangler.com. Now go catch some fish!